It's Christmas time! Alright, welcome to Olympia's annual cooking segment. You may be thinking, Olympia, why have you got Jurassic World merch on your head? Well, in the supermarket it looked like a Christmas tree ornament. Turns out, it's Triceratops. Today I am making eggnog, which I have never made before. And I've never tasted it, or I've never, see I've never seen it. I don't know what it is. I have a loose recipe here, and I've got some ingredients. So I'm gonna sort of loosely follow it, but I feel like these videos are great for their like experimental nature because we go on an adventure together and we learn stuff. So I don't think eggnog is even remotely British. Like I've literally never even seen it. Like what is it? Like an egg dessert option. I think it's American. I don't really know. I haven't done any research. I don't plan on doing any research. So just shut up. I'm gonna just get straight into it. Um, bowls and whisks and eggs. It's, it's gonna be a grand affair. There's milk and cream. I've also prepared some honey, just cause maybe like, I know you put sugar in it and nutmeg as well, which I've never used before. And you have to like grind them or shave them. Shave them? Why wouldn't they just sell them? Uh, why don't they just sell this ground up already? Turns out they do, which is excellent. Uh, so let's just, let's begin. Let's, let's begin today. The only part of it, which I'm a bit confused about is the bourbons which I thought are bourbons a British treat. Bourbon creams, no brand product placement. British, I thought these are, perhaps they're not, maybe they are. They've traveled across the sea. Do you have to separate, I've never separated eggs before, so we'll see what happens. And you know, you can just enjoy this eggnog drink when you're with your family or relatives, you know, during Christmas time. Um, or at Jurassic Park. How many eggs do I need? Four egg yolks, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna halve everything because I'm only gonna make a small glass because I don't anticipate this will end well. So I'm supposed to separate. All right, well, I'll put yolks into this great big one. Okay, the yolk, oh, it's happening. No, the whites are going in this one. The whites are going in this. It's going sort of really well, actually. I don't know, is the yolk supposed to be pink? I need help. Someone Google, how do you know when an egg is off? I in a garden always says, do them in a separate bowl first. I don't, I mean, that's most of the egg in that bowl, but listen, just move on to the next one. All right, all right, there, there we go. Dead chicken babies. <sighs> Okay, well, one of the yolks is a decidedly darker color than the other, which is fine. Yep. I must have help. This is the laundry here. I'll just use this sock. And if I can do this in one fell swoop, I can also get it into the washing machine from here. Didn't get it in. So my eggs are in. We're now going to, if yours looks like this, you're doing it right. We're now going to add in, I've got to beat them. Right, so beat them until they are gold in colour. Okay, well they are gold, they're now gold in colour. A third cup of sugar. I don't know, are you supposed to eat eggs when they're raw? I always thought, I was always told, don't do that, because you can get salmonella. But, you know, I suppose with all of the fucking meat alternative veggie options that Nova serves me, I should be, at this point, down for whatever. What's a cup? Third of a cup. A cup is like that. So a third of that, that's a third. Oh, well, I'm halving everything, aren't I? I'm halving everything. Help, all right. It's loosely halved. Milk, cream, pour, pour bourbon. I've got to pour in the bourbons, all right. So they didn't have bourbon in the supermarket, I look for it, um, but I'm gonna use blue curacao because it is, oh, we'll make it blue, but that's, blue is a Christmas color. All right, if this is an orange liqueur, an orange is Christmassy, you put it in mulled wine, poor people get oranges in stockings, but I'll put that in afterwards. I'll just put it in now. Milk, cream, bourbon, this is, I don't have bourbon. Oh, it looks really nice. It doesn't. Milk and cream, okay, we'll put in some milk. Whole milk. That's too much, I'll put in too, I'm sure that's too much. Like what am I making right now? Is this a batter? 
If I put this in a frying pan, would it be a pancake? It sort of looks like a custard mix, like a, like a custard mix. I don't know another way to say that. Okay, in goes the cream. You'll want to make sure that your toaster oven is preset to five. Okay, well it's very, very wet. I thought this would be a bit thicker, but the bourbons will make, I'm not putting those in though, am I? That's wrong. Well, I'll put the bourbons in because it might make it a bit thicker. I've got to put in some of this. So this, I mean, it will turn it blue. That's a lot. That was a lot. Hell of a lot. It's a lovely colour. Eggnog. It smells like chlorine, but you can eat that, can't you? So that should be fine. Okay, the nutmeg, I've got to shave it like I would a delicate leg. Aren't nutmegs like, but like if you ingest too much, aren't they like a, don't they poison you? Well, what the fuck good is that? There's holes in it, like that's gonna be useful. I can't get into the nutmegs. All right, that'll do. One whole nutmeg and nutmeg. One tisp freshly grated nutmeg. What side should I use? Probably not the big. Oh, it's going in. Wait, what's a tisp? Oh, it smells like asshole. It smells like my mother's guest room. That's probably enough. It's probably not, but. Oh, so it's starting to smell like an egg custard tart. So if I put this in the fridge, would it just be a huge tart? The egg whites have to be beat to soft peaks. Well, how long is that gonna take? I should, have, I should have used an electric whisk because this is like Victorian style now. It just says whisk the egg whites into the egg yolk mixture. Is that it? Well, I'll put some bourbons in it. How will you be spending your holidays? I'm doing this. I'm Natalie Cassidy off these senders. Just doing this now. Icing down the bins. It's not like a stiff peak. It looks more like something you would spit. It looks like spit. For extra points, you can spin your bowl around and if it, if it like hits all of the things on the tap, this is just taking so long, I'm going crazy. Boom, smacked into the bourbons, extra point. Is that a, that's a stiff peak? No, it's not. If it's a stiff peak, will that mean that it's not poisonous? Is this not poisonous? Oh God, my back hurts from this fucking bra. I don't know. The egg whites are sort of a blue color and I haven't even put the curacao in it. So I feel like they're off. There's no smell. I do feel a lot like Emmy Made in Japan because we both, you know, we really have our shit together. And I know Emmy Made in Japan watched my Christmas cake video. So that's a real fucking shame that she saw that turd. Oh, there's eggshell in this. But egg sh you can consume that, right? It's just like, what, potassium, like a banana. Cooking it. Ah, for cooking eggnog, please follow, I'm not cooking anything. What would this be like if you cooked it? I could heat it up. I'm not going to. Well, I could be here for fucking ages. It's starting to look like bubble bath, which is closer. Stiff peak. It's standing up in the bowl, so it's a stiff peak. Also, the eggshell remained in the bowl, so it, it did as I, as I asked. Here's my Christmas glass, which I've used in some of my Christmas videos, including the one where I put the, the bleach on the turkey. Do you remember that? So now, fold in, it literally looks like something you would wash a car with. Honey, 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 ooh, ooh. I don't know that song either. I don't know any songs. You know when you try and sing a song, we've got no idea what it is. Honey, good for the throat. Perhaps I should serve this to Charmaine. Her throat takes a beating. Okay, and also, some. I'll pour in some bourbon like it suggests. I can't open the bourbon. I need, I need help with the bourbon. Something smells bad down here. And I know I say that all the time, but I rarely sit at this side of the table. I feel like Velma just did like a whoopsie dipsy somewhere. Okay, we're pouring in the bourbons. Oh, these nails are fucked. Well, one's just come off. It's not, it's almost off. Pouring in the bourbons. It's Christmas time. Hang on, I've just got to fish my nail out. This is like the ring, you know, and she finds that nail on the side of the well, which is Christmassy, I think. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost at the magic moment. I 
feel very accomplished today. I've created um, an eggnog. So here is my glass. I'm just going to move this so you can see it. It looks a bit like, I'm going to say a creme de menthe, that or toothpaste with poo floating in it. It smells delicious, actually. It smells sort of minty, despite nothing minty going in it. Maybe that's a psychological thing because it's mint coloured, which Gaga thinks would have been very in fashion for in fashion next spring or whatever she said. Who cares? Ah, uh, a sikamakanas. Oh no, what does she say? That's rude. I don't know what she says. As my Christmas creations go, it's, no, nah, it's horrible. I've got a nice lump of bourbon in there. And I think I would have rather just eaten the bourbon on its own without the sort of toothpaste mouthwash. I can see how it's supposed to taste, but, the, oh, it's not good. Ah, how, oh, how will you, oh. Cheers and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. How will you be spending your Christmas? I'll just set that down there. I don't know what to do now. I'll just have some of these fudge chunks. I'd like to say a happy birthday to our patrons. James, it was your birthday the other day and we haven't done a video that coincided with it. So we missed it and I am so sorry, but I hope you had a lovely happy birthday. And also Jennifer, who's just like now, it's today for when I'm filming this, I think. So you'll see it maybe a day late or whatever it is. But again, have a gorgeous birthday, the pair of you. If you guys want to become patrons to support this, there's a message that's following. I really do feel violently ill. Help me help you fulfill your lifelong dream of watching a faintly feminine creature from the Black Lagoon attempt to make these culinary treats on the internet by becoming a patron. Join us at patreon.com slash novimpia.